Today I'll be demonstrating how to activate an iOS device with BlackBerry Dynamics. You'll need at least two pieces of information before you can activate your device. You'll need your BlackBerry UEM activation password. This is provided to you by your organization's BlackBerry UEM admin, emailed to you, or you can create it in the BlackBerry UEM self-service. And you'll need your corporate email address and password. Depending on how your organization has UEM configured, you may need other information. This information should be provided to you by your UEM admin. If you haven't received any of these items or run into issues during your activation, please contact your UEM administrator. Let's get started. To save time, I've time warped some of the activation processes in the demo where the device is busy talking to and waiting for a server. The first thing we'll need to do is install the BlackBerry UEM client. On the main screen, tap the App Store. Search for and install the BlackBerry UEM client. Once the UEM client is installed, you can tap Open here or tap the UEM client icon on the main screen. When the UEM client opens for the first time, read the license agreement, scroll to the bottom, and tap I agree. In the email address field, type your corporate email address and tap Go. Type your UEM activation password and tap Activate My Device. Tap OK to install a certificate. Tap Install. Tap Install again, tap Install. Tap Install, and then tap Trust. Tap Done. Tap Open. Once the initial configuration is done, we'll start configuring BlackBerry Dynamics. You'll see a number of tasks scroll across the screen as each one is performed. Tap Install. When prompted, type and confirm a password that you want to use to log into the UEM client and tap Go. Tap OK. Tap anywhere on the screen to dismiss the info screen. Your iOS device is now activated. Let's switch back to the main screen and install some apps. I'm just going to close up some of these open apps that we don't need anymore. OK. Tap Work Apps. Locate and tap the BlackBerry Work App icon. Tap Free. This sends an installation request to the server. Let's install another app while we're waiting. Tap All to go back to the main app list. I think I'll install BlackBerry Notes. I'll tap the icon and then tap Free. This process is the same for all of the apps that you install. OK, great. The server is ready to install BlackBerry Work. You'll get this prompt for all of the apps the server sends you. You'll also get these when your administrator pushes apps down to you that you're required to install. Tap Install to install BlackBerry Work. I've also installed some other apps, but since the install process is the same for all of them, I'm going to go straight to configuring BlackBerry Work for the first time. Tap BlackBerry Work. You can configure BlackBerry Work using the BlackBerry UEM client or using an access key that your admin has given you. For this demo, I'm going to use the BlackBerry UEM client. Type your UEM client password that you created earlier and tap OK. Since this is the first time BlackBerry Work has been opened, it needs to run some one-time only configuration processes. The next time you open BlackBerry Work, all you'll need to do is put in your password. Tap OK. Read the license agreement and tap I agree. Tap Allow. On the Setup Account screen, enter your corporate password. Tap anywhere on the screen to dismiss the info screen. Right from the inbox, you can quickly triage your emails, move items, create meeting invites, and more. When you tap the launcher in the bottom corner, you can see all of the work apps that you've installed, and you can switch to any of them from here. Let's take a look at the calendar. When we create a meeting invite, we can see the availability of the people that we invite. In our contacts, we have a number of options for how we want to contact people. We can call them, text, email, and instant message them. And if you look in the top left, we can also see their presence status. In Docs, we can easily access our work files, whether they're on Windows File Share, SharePoint, or Box. 
and we can pin the files so we can access them offline. That's just a quick overview of what BlackBerry Work has to offer. For more information about activating a device, visit help.blackberry.com.